First of all, um, can I thank you for supporting your local hospitals? And I want to thank also the staff that provide care and treatment in our hospitals day in, day out. I've been in the health service now for over 30 years. I've worked on the front line as a, as a nurse and I've worked as a senior manager and more recently over the last decade as a chief executive. And I do this job because I'm passionate about providing high quality care. Um, and I know that the people that live across Morecambe Bay have absolutely got that objective in mind. They want and deserve that high quality care. Every day, thousands of people have been getting good care in our local hospitals. However, you have been let down by this trust in the past. And quite frankly, levels of care have been unacceptable. I'm really pleased that the Care Quality Commission has recently been able to say that our maternity and our emergency services are now meeting essential standards. The Nursing and Midwifery Council also said that they felt there were many improvements in our maternity services and most notably the change in culture, focus and effectiveness of supervisory activity. I think these reports show that the Trust is as a whole turning the corner in terms of recovery. And this certainly reflects the hard work of our staff together with local GPs, the public, governors and stakeholders who have all played their part. Now that's all really, really good news, um, but we have got some way to go. Um, we, we've begun that journey by putting in place a new board, uh, a really strong uh, group of individuals who will provide the leadership that we need moving forward. We've also, um, and this is important, encouraged doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, um, to work with us in leading the organisation. They're at the forefront of decision making. And what that means is that actually we're able to put the patient at the heart of, of what we're doing day, day in, day out. So we've begun to see the results of that, which is really, really encouraging. Some of the more challenging issues will take longer to deal with. For example, we need to consider how we meet the clinical and financial challenges involved in providing high quality services across a large geographical area. Advances in healthcare also mean the way services were provided 20 or even 10 years ago is often not the best way to provide these services now or in the future. A number of groups involving the GPs who commission hospital services, this trust and, and others have been set up to review clinical services across Morecambe Bay. Now, clearly, these are your hospitals, so it's also vital that you are involved in these discussions. So, look, th there are not going to be any, any easy answers, um, but this is a unique opportunity, I believe, a really important time for our hospitals to get the model of healthcare delivery right for the future, make sure that for generations to come, we're able to provide leading edge healthcare. That's what I want to see. I want to see our organisation among the best in the country. Um, and now is the, the opportunity we have to create that. Um, we want to make sure that our populations of people that use our hospitals not only have confidence that they, you know, they can receive safe, high quality care, um, but among the best that's available in the UK.